Welcome back into the film room. I'm your host, Eric Turner. And in today's Cover One Film Room feature, we're going to break down wide receiver Amari Cooper's Buffalo Bills debut against the Tennessee Titans. Cooper had to put in extra work all week after being traded to the Bills on Tuesday. And while he had limited snaps, 18 to be exact, his impact in the Bills offense was felt. Offensive coordinator Joe Brady and wide receiver coach Adam Henry had a plan for his debut, and it was quite flawless. Brady used Cooper in formations and concepts where he could just focus on winning his one-on-one, -on -one, which, to be honest, the Bills haven't shown that they could do regularly. They put him at spots and formations that, if he wasn't open, rising star Dalton Kincaid would be as the next player in the progression. How exciting is that? Cooper and Kincaid as 1-2 in progressions. Cooper finished with 12 routes run, 5 targets, 4 receptions for 66 yards, and a touchdown. A pretty good outing, all things considered. So without further ado, let's jump into Cooper's film to analyze his impact in the Bills' offense. The Bills came in, and Cooper are the primary 1-2 in this concept. Now, the Bills are running their Haas concept, so you're going to have like a stop route here, and then a seam by Kincaid. If it were cover two or some too high safety look, Josh would be working the top of the screen with a dig by Coleman and then a little pivot return route to the middle. But because the Titans end up in a single high coverage, you see this right here, the safety drop into the post. Josh works the bottom of the screen. It's an easy half field read type play. And Cooper's wide open as the Titans try to disguise this coverage. It, again, it doesn't matter if it's cover one or cover three. Josh would be working the bottom of the screen, and the Titans are trying to disguise this as cover three. And so if it were cover three, Josh would be worrying about the flats defender right here buzzing out to the flats. But because it's cover one and Kincaid stabs outside and gets the attention of that slot defender, the corner is the guy working in man coverage, in off man coverage against Cooper. So the anticipation's there, the read's there, the ball's proper. Cooper just has to catch this. He drops it, and it really took the win out of the sails when you're talking Cooper's debut in a Bills uniform. First and 10 play here. This is a five yard gain to Dawson Knox, getting other people involved, especially when you're talking Cooper being the primary read and then a secondary player being a tight end like Knox or Kincaid or someone else. That's what you're seeing on this play. You get Cooper in motion and on the snap, he's running a speed out and, and Josh is looking at him immediately. This is one of those easy button type plays. Can he win quickly versus that defender and you can see the man turn by the corner josh is looking at him he quickly realizes cooper is not open so where does he go he goes to the number two in the progression you can see that inside backer playing it off coverage this is an easy one two punch right here between cooper and knox and you'll see it happen later between cooper and kincaid but this is allowing the bills to get others involved with the defense paying attention to and having this guy come down and play over the top of Cooper tightly so that it takes him away early in the read when really it does appear like they're in zone coverage. Watch that corner. He man releases, but then look at him get his head around. I think he's actually a zone defender here. So if Cooper wasn't paid attention to here, this corner would be an off coverage. And guess what? He would be squatting on this out route. So I think you're seeing some of that impact of how teams are going to try to take away Cooper early in plays and how that may open up things for others, including Dawson Knox on this play for a five yard game. You're seeing a similar impact here with Cooper in the slot and the ball going to Kincaid. This is second and 10. The Bills get 10 yards and Kincaid is able to get open, split the defenders for the first down. But same type of concept. This time you're having Cooper in the slot and he's running a corner. It's a high low, an in route or under route by Kincaid. So versus this too high cover look, this defender in the middle who was paying attention to Knox before now has to respect Cooper. He's got to respect him up the field a little bit too before he passes him on to that split field safety. Watch how far he has to carry him and how that opens up that in route to Kincaid. Now look at the space that Kincaid has because Cooper kind of cleared it out. Nice hands catch by Kincaid with the rocket throw from Josh and then he's able to split the defenders to get 10 yards on the play. This is the impact that we're seeing early on in the debut of Cooper in the Bills offense. Again, a very calculated combination here placement by Cooper in the slot, having him take the coverage with him and open up things underneath versus this too high look so that K can work. We are now in the second half, second and 10 situation here. This is Cooper's 12 yard touchdown in the red zone by the Bills. Josh calls the alert. Cooper doesn't appear to know what that call is. 
but you still see him uncover for the touchdown. Bills are in empty. They have zero two personnel on the field. Two tight ends to the top of the screen, and everyone else are wide receivers. So no running backs on the field. They're in an empty set. The Bills have liked to do this the last few weeks because it forces the defense to identify what covers they're in. A lot of teams want to run cover zero versus the Bills in this area of the field, which the Titans do here. And that allows Josh to attack the middle of the field. But if nothing's open, usually Josh can take off and, and run for the touchdown. So Josh calls the alert. He's expecting pressure with this defensive look. And the Titans appear to show pressure, but then they kind of pop out underneath. But that pressure and, and simulated look of pressure put Cooper one-on-one -on -one with this defender. And again, the, the weakness in cover zero is the middle of the field. As long as Josh can get time to set up, even Mac Hollins has exploited this coverage in this area of the field from this empty set versus the Cardinals and also last week against the Jets. Cooper's one-on-one -on -one with that defender. There's a lot of space. You see a nice stick to the middle of the field and that's just an easy touchdown. As long as Josh gets time versus actual cover zero pressures or looks, this is gonna be a win, especially when you put Cooper in the slot attacking the middle of the field and getting Cooper in the slot versus a defensive back to attack the middle of the field, to win to the middle of the field, was a great play call here. And you really just swapped out Hollins for Cooper. And that's a win for the Bills offense. But look at the throw from Josh. It's so calculated. And it he takes a little bit off this throw when normally would just rifle that in there. But look at the trajectory and, and the release point and the follow through, the mechanics right there, up and over the defensive tackle. Obviously a bigger, taller type guy who's trying to clog the passing lane over the middle. Look at that throw from Josh. Pulls a string, perfect trajectory, nice catchable ball with the windy conditions and taking in consideration some of the drop issues that Cooper has. A very catchable ball from Josh. And that is Cooper's first touchdown in a Bills uniform. We're still in the third quarter, 6.54 on the clock, second and four situation. And Allen hits Cooper for a 19 yard gain. And this is the type of play and route and player the Bills have been missing in this type of formation. So this is a trend across the league. Four strong to the top. So you have four eligible receivers to the top of the screen. And whether it's zone or man, it really has to break down into a man type look when you're talking the solo receiver, the X receiver on the line of scrimmage to the bottom of the screen. Because if it's zone, well, with four eligibles to the top of the screen, the Titans are going to have to flood that to stop, to maintain the leverage of five defenders over four, which again, will put the corner in a bind to the bottom of the screen where essentially he's in man coverage because everything else in the coverage is zoning off to the top. And if this was straight man coverage, either way, you still have one-on-one -on -one with Cooper. And Cooper is used to seeing press. Over the last two years, 2023 and 2024, he's seen the fourth most reps versus press. And his routes... When you're talking outside the numbers, when you're talking press, have been very good. His production has been very good against press or tight man coverage. And you can see why he wins so early in this route. They're just giving him a leverage route and telling him, hey, go down the field, win early, win often. You see that little hesitation and then the outside release. Look at this separation. And yeah, it's early in the route and Josh is throwing like a 50-50 ball here to Cooper. But that separation early is still maximized late because now Josh can throw it where he wants to and, and really put the pace on the ball that he wants to. And that separation, even late in this route, is still locked in. Look at the separation here. That is a separation play by Cooper. He did it early and he did it often. His entire career when you're talking man, when you're talking press, and Josh, with the throw here, locked in that separation. That's an NFL window right there. That is separation that was locked in. Very good throw from Josh. Late hands by Cooper. Doesn't give it away, allowing that defender to make a play on the ball. But it was one early in the route. And this is what the Bills have missed. An X wide receiver on the back of a trips formation or a quads formation that can win early and often. Who can win one-on-ones. The Bills haven't had that. So if they can incorporate Cooper into these type of formations and having him run these type of routes... It's only going to make everyone else better in the offense. The Bills have a multitude of weapons. They just need to figure out their roles and ways to get them open. 
And there's no doubt that in this game, Cooper's role was to win early, to win often, and to set up others. And that's exactly what the Bills have needed in the offense. Still in the third quarter, 2.49 on the clock. The Bills are up 17-10. First and 10 play call here. And Bills run play action, something we've been calling for a lot. And they're trying to get the ball down the field. And this play just really shows the rapport between Josh and Cooper, which is pretty amazing, all things considered. So they have a little eye candy with Shakir across the formation. They're faking the, the run to Cook. They're pushing Hollins down the field on a post and then running... A deep curl or stop route from Cooper. And then, of course, you have a couple check downs if Josh needs it. But watch what Josh and Amari do here. So, Coop sits right here. But you can see there's a defender sitting right in front of him, a linebacker. And as Cook flares out to the sideline, the corner remains patient. He splits a difference. He understands he doesn't have to fly down there to chase the check down, especially when he knows that Cooper is right here underneath. And so, Cooper's initially... Picked up pretty well. Everyone over the top takes Hollins. So there's three defenders essentially out of the spacing of this route distribution. But watch Coop start to slide towards the corner into this void here in this passing window. And as he does, Josh doesn't throw it to the outside shoulder so that this corner could jump it. What he does is as Coop sliding this way, Josh places the pass up high and to the inside shoulder. And that's important because now this corner is trying to get into that passing window but the ball's too high and has the velocity to make it through that window. And now you have a 27-yard gain from Allen to Cooper. Just great stuff between these two players. And it's a very promising sign, all things considered, when we're talking about the rest of the season. But watch this placement and where Josh puts it. And look at him pull the string. Again, the release point, the delivery is high and away from that corner. But to that inside shoulder, to Cooper. Pretty stuff. I love this rapport and relationship that was built in a short amount of time. We're talking Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday leading to this game on Sunday after the trade from the Browns. Just awesome stuff, man. I can't stop watching this play. It says so much about Allen, but also Amari Cooper and his work ethic when you're talking, getting ready for this game on a short week. We are now in the fourth quarter, top of the fourth quarter, second and fourth situation, second and goal. Bill's in a low red zone. And here's another play showing the impact of Cooper and even Kincaid to a certain extent, and how the Titans tried defending the Bills in a low red zone. So on the snap, you're going to see sort of a switch release. You're going to have Cooper run a deep dig along the back line. Kincaid's running the follow, similar type route behind him. Again, trying to get that one-two combination. Okay, if Coop's not open, well, guess what? Kincaid should be on the follow behind him. Fake orbit motion by Shakir. Coleman is running the fade route. And then the other check down, the other outlet is Ty Johnson. And this is the touchdown to Ty Johnson. But watch how the Titans defend the Bills and how it opens it up for Ty Johnson underneath. So the linebacker does a good job of carrying Cooper. You see the in route by Kincaid behind him. You see the backside safety poaching. They're totally aware of Cooper coming across the middle. So now you have several defenders defending that back line of Cooper and Kincaid. And that just opens things up underneath for Johnson to sneak out. Josh is composed, waits for Johnson to set up, and throws a nice catchable ball to him underneath. Very good stuff when we're talking scheme and understanding of Josh Allen to remain patient. Hey, Cooper and Kincaid aren't open. They're accounted for by the defense in this too high coverage look. Well, guess what? If that's true, if they're all playing the back line and defending those plays down the field and routes down the field, hit your check down. And Johnson's a reliable back out of the backfield in the receiving game. Josh finds him, and the Bills put six on the board to go up 24-10. to 10. On to the final play of this breakdown, the second eight situation here. Cooper gets eight yards on this slant route, executes that circle release, that diamond release, as we broke down last week in the film room. But once again... Four eligibles down here to the bottom of the screen. One-on-one -on -one coverage here. Cooper on the line of scrimmage, backside of this route, winning outside the numbers here versus the corner. And the corner disrupts him a little bit as you see the outside release right there. But as Cooper comes back across the face, very active hands right there, he slows the route down a little bit. So he still is able to transition and stay in the pocket of Cooper. The pass is not accurate at all. 
but Cooper is able to reel it in off his back hip to get the first down. As I said in the film room last week, winning outside the numbers, winning versus press versus tight man, winning early, winning at the intermediate level, and winning deep, it's all in the bag of Amari Cooper. And we saw it in glimpses in this game against the Titans. And I expect the Bills to even add more plays for him that get him these type of looks. Thanks to formations, thanks to personnel groupings. This is what the Bills have been missing. And there's no doubt that Joe Brady immediately put Cooper in situations to win how he wins in the NFL each and every week. If you like this breakdown, please smash that like button, leave us a comment in the comment section, and subscribe to the Cover One YouTube channel. I am Eric Turner, owner of Cover One, host of the film room every Wednesday. Until our next breakdown, go Bills.